Hello, my name is Tom. Today I'm working with the Studio 5000 Logix Designer software. In today's project, I am going to be programming off delay timers. I'm going to scroll down a little bit here and show you the materials for today's project. First, I am using the Allen Bradley Compax Logix controller. Next, I have the Studio 5000 Logix Designer software. And last, I am using a USB 2.0 A to B printer cable to communicate between the laptop and the controller. And if you follow the links that I have here for you, it should take you directly to the web page where these items are located. Okay, I'm in the hands on portion of the project now. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to the timer and I am going to assign the timer a name along with a preset. So I'll click on it, right click, new tag, give the timer a name. I'll just call it oven timer. Everything looks good there. Click OK. Now I'm going to give it a preset. Now you need to remember that this time is in milliseconds, so any time that you give it time, just add three zeros behind it. One second would be 1,000, 10 seconds is 10,000, and so on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the tag for the timer, and I'm going to drag and drop over to the input on rung number one, rung number two, and rung number three. And on rung number four here for a future reference. So I'm going to come up here to rung number one and double click and use the drop down. And I'm going to come down here to the oven timer and expand it. Scroll down. And I'm going to use the enable bit on this rung here. I'm going to come down here to the next rung on rung number two, double click, use the drop down, come down to the timer, expand it, and use the time timing bit. Rung number three, I'm also going to assign it to the oven timer, but this is going to be the done bit. And this one right here, I'm going to use as the time timing bit. I should have just dragged and dropped it, but so it looks like everything's good here. I have no errors along the margin here. So I'm going to download the project and show you how this timer actually works. I'm going to click download. Now the download is done and it's asking if I want the controller change back to remote run. I'm going to click yes. And I have my power rails here. The run mode is green, the controller and the I.O. are green and they're all okay. Now, if you look at the timer right now, the timer preset equals the accumulated value of 10,000. So I'm gonna come over here to the start contact. This is only a uh, internal contact. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to toggle this bit, and when I toggle it, we'll watch what happens. Now I have power to the start, flowing through to the timer, and that's evident by the parallel rung here. 
where the output for the power tube timer is true. My enable and done are both true here. And if I come down here to rung number one, the enable bit here is true, so the output is true. Come down to rung two, the time timing bit is not true because the timer is not timing, it is not accumulating time, and the output for that rung is not true. Now the done bit is true, and the done bit's output is true. Now if I cycle this, you're going to see the timer will start the time, the enable bit will turn off, the time timing and the done bit will both be true. Now here we go. Now the timer is timing, the enable bit is false, my power to the timer output is also false. Now everything is false because the timer has accumulated to the preset. So I hope that this helps with the off delay timer for you. So if you learned something here, let me know, leave a comment, otherwise I'll see you next video.